All right, we're back again. I'm going to make a quick video to help some people out. Because this thing, you have to configure it. The default settings are all different. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to charge the battery since the battery's a little bit low and we don't have solar, it's nighttime. The default is uh, you go into menu item number 10, the charger source priority, to configure the charger source priority. Its default is solar energy and utility will charge the battery at the same time. Well, I didn't want that, so I actually turned it off to where solar energy will be the only charging source. Then I realized, well, I don't want that. So you need the CSO, which is solar energy will charge the battery as first priority. Utility will charge the battery only when solar is not available. And in order to do that, we need to get into menu item number 10. I've already enabled it before just to show you what it's going to look like. Okay, I don't have the inverter on. The inverter is off. Okay. But what we do is we go in here and we hold down the enter button until it flashes. Now we're in this menu and we can hit the down key and scroll up to item number 10. Right here. Oops, we went to 11. Okay. Then you press enter. Okay. That will highlight that and you can get the different options. So, then you just press enter. Then you can hit escape. And it will come out of there. And you're now charging on the grid. So, you can just have this thing set up to where you've got your wires coming out here to run whatever you want to run off grid. And your solar will power it, your, and then your batteries will power it. And then when there's no solar and then whatnot, and it determines that the batteries are at a certain level, there's other configurations in here. Your utility charger in here, which is up to 60 amps, I think, will start charging your battery bank. And um, then once they're done, then it'll just shut off. But um, that's one really cool function that you can do. You can also have it set to where, like I said, they both charge at the same time. So you basically kind of a little tied in with the grid while you're using solar and producing, but you're not, you're not, um, you're, you're supplementing your solar with the uh, grid power if it needs it. So like on a cloudy day or something, you know, it'll sit here and run it. And um, if the solar isn't quite enough, instead of shutting down, it'll start to draw grid power. So. I'll make a few more videos of this since I know there's not a lot of information on this. And uh, um, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.